this morning I got some feedback about um, one of our videos and people like them, which is nice, so I'm not wasting my time, uh, about the Land Rover sunroof leaking. However, uh, with all the ice and snow that we've got, I can't really go out and show you how a Land Rover le sunroof leaks and what are the causes of it. Um, but I did a description on, on uh, one video, but I, I will promise you I'll do a video when the weather picks up. <clears throat> but it prompted me to think about leaks in general and oil leaks. And I mentioned this machine a little while ago on doing a, um, a fuel tank. And, and I was sh showed you how to do it. So I'm going to put a link, where is it now, up here, so that you can see that video. And it, uh, it worked very, very well. Now, what it, basically it is, and I didn't really describe it too much because I was, I'm sometimes always in a rush. <clears throat> you've got your battery, 12-volt battery, so you can clip it onto your car. And you've got um, an air line that goes into it. And what it does is the, the 12 volts heats up a little glow plug that's inside. And there's some special oil in there. Um, because this machine is basically made for um, exhaust, uh, not exhaust emissions, but emission control pipes, lines, fuel tanks and things like this. And the, the special liquid doesn't uh, deteriorate the components, which is quite important. However, I have never used it for the last five years for use for emission controls. I've used it for things that's completely different. So... You could actually make one of these using uh, a little tank of oil, um, a little tank with a glow plug in it, and uh, you, I, I'm sure you could make one, but I didn't really know them at the time. But this one's got a manometer on it, and I'm going to show you how it works in a minute. And it's also got a fine and a coarse control. I always leave it on coarse. Um, you've got a filler up here where you put your liquid and the thing about this is you can tip it upside down and it doesn't really matter. It's, it's quite good. It is an expensive machine. Uh, I'm going to put a link below to the website. But it is expensive. But what's more expensive is the liquid to fill it up with. It is about 85 Canadian dollars for a small container less than one of these. It's, it's very expensive. But for me, because I don't need these magic liquids, I was reading on the internet how to make it. And all you really need is baby oil. This is from my private collection. And some oil-based dye. Now, I'm going to go about onto this a little bit later. This is called Traceline. You can get it off Amazon. It's really good stuff. It comes in boxes. But you can buy them individually. Now, like I say, I'll describe that later. But what it is, it's a chemical dye. So if you mix a, a few drops of that in here, hey presto, you get the dye. So what's, what's this about the dye? Because you've, you've got two strings to your bow with this thing. You've got the smoke and you've got the dye. So I'm going to fire this up now <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Simple start. It's got a timer in it, that's what sets this a little bit different. And you'll see very shortly, I hope you can see, the smoke coming out. All right, so if you have a, an engine, you want to find out where an oil leak is, you simply put this down your dipstick hole and it will fill the crankcases full of oil, um, uh, full of oil, full of smoke. What I do as well with engines, I, I block off the intake and I also block off the exhaust uh, manifold as well because Sometimes this smoke is so fine it can get round the pistons or the valve guides and then it can go out the exhaust or through the intake. So, but you want to make that engine, um, well, I'm going to turn it off in a minute because it gets a bit naughty, it gets a bit smoky. <coughs> anyway, so you want to block off and make that block, uh, the engine block itself, as airtight as you can. And that sometimes means, like on a 300 TDI, you take the breather off and put plugs on both sides because you don't want the smoke going down through the turbo um, because it'll just end up going to atmosphere and you don't, you'll, you'll be tracing a leak that isn't there. So going back to this again, I'm going to turn this back on and uh, I'll show you on this manometer. Now it's got smoke going through it. See, it's pretty instant now because it's all, it's all warmed up. But if you keep your eye on here, the manometer's right at the top. And I'm going to nip this pipe whilst you look at it. 
and you'll see how the manometer goes down when there's less smoke. So, the, so if you've got no leaks, or if you've got a tiny leak, that's how much smoke you'll have coming through it. And then if you've got no leaks, the machine stops. Isn't that clever? Very clever. But again, I use this machine for doing all sorts of things it wasn't intended for. Well, it was, sort of thing. You can get this great big thing in and you can ram it up your exhaust pipe. And you can test exhaust systems for leaks without it being hot. Now remember the good old days where you used to put a rag up the exhaust and you used to crawl underneath and put your hands on the exhaust and burn your hands. Them days have gone. You put this on, shove it up your pipe, and you need two or three cycles to fill up the, the exhaust system. But believe me, it is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant finding little leaks because sometimes you get those little leaks and you can't find them. This will find them. <clears throat> so when you've got a very small leak when the manometer's down here, sometimes you can't see the smoke. I can in here, it's everywhere. So what you need, this is why the dye is important. So I'm going to show you a little test of both products together. Now this product here, you can put it actually in your engine oil. Um, it's good. You'll, you'll trace oil. You'll, you'll, you'll trace your leaks with no problem at all. But you've got to have the engine block pretty clean. Say so for example, or, or whatever you're testing, it's got to be clean, like a gearbox or an axle. It doesn't really matter. It mixes with all oils. And you only need a little bit. Uh, and you don't need all of this in a gallon. Honestly, you only need a few drops. Because I'm going to show you a demonstration now of how it actually works. Cleaning a block off in winter is a pain. So this is why I use this one more. But sometimes if you're on a budget and you can't find a leak and it's really, really tricky, then this, this, one, this stuff here comes in really handy. Now cleaning blocks off, um, usually use a good quality oh, it's French, uh, brake cleaner. <clears throat> this is from Canadian Tire. It works very well. This stuff has got trichloroethylene in, which has killed many an apprentice. Believe me, it's nasty stuff, so don't breathe it in. Uh, but it's very, very effective. Uh, it's, it is the best. This stuff here by Gunk, it is, it's got heptane in it. And it's just, it says fast acting, but I don't, I don't know what planet they're on. It's, it's, it's not even worth putting a tin. You might as well use soap and water. That, a customer bought me that, and I know why, because he used all my stuff. We bought something a bit cheaper. There's only a dollar fifty difference in the in in the um, price. So you've got an oil leak on your car, and you haven't got one of these machines. You can put some of this stuff in, run it around for a little while, and you will see where the leak is. Now you're going to say, Mike, where where am I going to see that stuff? Because look, I've put a bit on there, look, and I've put a bit of the liquid onto here. What you need is a good quality um, black light, uh, UV light. Now what I do is, here's another little tip, I'm giving you a lot of tips today, is that whenever you carry a torch in your car or you put it in your workshop or something like that, it's so easy to switch the button on and off by accident. Gone are the days when they had a little lock button. They've got these little push buttons and you can't see if it's on or off. These are good torches. This was about $25 off eBay, but it's not off Amazon. It's really good. You think I was sponsored by Amazon. What I do, I turn the batteries backwards. It's got two sets of batteries, so it's got a lot of power. Turn the battery backwards, put the cap back on. Hey presto, your batteries will last forever. Well, they'll last a long time. So, this has got some of the product on. I'm going to use this light, and look at this. You can see it instantly where it's leaking and you're going oh wow look at that that's brilliant mate so you can see if, and this is why you need a big light you can get little tiny ones that's only got a few leds in but you need something that's got a big coverage because when you've got a, a uv light it, it, it sometimes can only put a little uh beam of light about an inch but this has got a great big one so it's really good value and the same goes for this look you see see how it glows it glows in the dark Spooky. So, and you can, you can see where it's run down the machine, look. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that's how you can find out where your leaks are. Very, very easily. This is the cheaper stuff. Look at it glowing. See? Um, this is the cheaper stuff. Uh, it's kind of effective, but it's best to keep the block clean. 
Um, going back to this machine again, let's, for example, give a practical use of it. You've got a 300 TDI and it's dripping oil on the floor. Immediately, you crawl underneath and you look at the bell housing and you say, oh dear, the uh, crank seal's leaking. Well, I'll put another link up here somewhere of a crankshaft seal when it does leak. So the first thing I do when I get a 300 TDI and a customer's complaining of leaks, put this down the dipstick hole, switch it on, and listen to see how fast this is coming out. Now, again, sometimes I just block off the exhaust pipe. Sometimes it's a bit of a problem because the exhaust is so big it takes a long time to fill up. But uh, sometimes you just put the machine on and you can see smoke bellowing out of a, a place. I'll crawl under the machine, under the Land Rover, and with the bung taken out of the bottom of the um, bell housing, if there's no smoke coming out of there, it's not leaking, so don't touch it. If it's bellowing smoke out, that's the problem. But sometimes uh, leaks are always on the right-hand side of the engine. That's where the camshaft is. That's where the, all the ancillaries are, your fuel pumps and your vacuum pumps and bits and pieces. Your breathers go back into there. That's the pr principal place where they're going to leak. And the cars, Land Rovers do leak. But when they're old and they're vibrating and things like this, it's very difficult to keep them absolutely 100% water, oil tight. So <clears throat> I've been under the car. I can't find a leak. I keep on smoke testing. I get, uh, and, uh, and then I'm looking at the vacuum pump. Now, the vacuum pump's a big place where uh, these leak um, on the 300 TDI. It's the constant hammering of the piston inside that makes the end cover a little bit loose, so they leak. But again, you should be able to see smoke come out of it. Another place where they leak is the um, the fuel pump, believe it or not. And it's the little, sh it's not the actual pump itself, well, it is the pump itself, but it's the little shaft that has the pivot on for your lift pump when you're lifting up the lift pump. Um, that, that thing leaks. So, you, you just in that case, all you can do is replace the pump for something with a bit tighter tolerances. Other well, things that leak on those are the breather pipes. Sometimes the hose, hose clips just need to tighten up. Um, that'll fix it. Or there's a split in the hose near the, near the pipe. Um, this, will, this will find it, and so will this. But you, you need to drive your car a little while with this product in. Um, so it isn't as instant as this, but it will find the job. And again, look at that. Bang. You can see that leak. So, and also you can get this product for um, cooling systems as well. So that's another good little use of it. But again, going back to that, good light, wear your glasses, and you will, you will see leaks where you never thought possible. So that's just a little tip. Hopefully this year we'll get some, some more practical use of how we can uh, use a smoke machine and this and I'll give you a demo but at the moment we've got nothing to do so everything's nice and oil tight apart from my Isuzu <laughs> I've noticed that's leaking oil out the crank out of the um, film uh, the drain bung at the bottom and this isn't the weather to fix it 